Now, you might be thinking, what's so special about it? It's another responsive website that we usually see all the time. And, every developer makes sure they make the responsive version of the site when they develop. It's nothing to be excited about. And, this is one of our premium WordPress themes. It is obviously a responsive website. You can check the link in the description by the way. But, what if I told you, it is not a developed website. In fact, it's a Figma design. And, you can make it right in Figma. So, we are gonna do this today. Also, we are gonna see how you can convert a desktop website into a tablet and mobile version. Hi, I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design, and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos, please hit the subscribe buttons and click the bell icon for notification. Okay, this is the Ashley WordPress theme, designed in Figma. So, we are going to make two different versions of it. One for tablet devices, and another one for mobile devices. For that, we need to understand type scaling. You see, when the screen property shrinks down, the fonts also shrinks down to fit within the screen properly. We use two different fonts here. This is the color palette by the way. So, for the headings we use the font, Playfair Display, and for the body text we use the font, Source Sans Pro. Before we get into the type scaling, let's discuss the font hierarchy. And, there are a lot of ways to set up the font's hierarchy. But, we are going to use this number today. This is the golden ratio number. So, what we are going to do here, take the body text size. Which are 16 pixels here. So, for say, for heading 3. We are just going to multiply this font size, with the golden ratio number. We can do the same for heading 2. And, also for display fonts. And, as you see, it looks like a perfect step-down font setup. We can also set a perfect line height for paragraphs. And, all I have to do is, multiply the golden ratio number with text size, in the line height box here. And, just like that, it becomes more comfortable to read. If you want to see a detailed video on typography, let me know in the comments section. Okay, now let's move on to the scaling. As we created the hierarchy, we have to reconsider every size of the hierarchy for three types of devices. The first one is the desktop, the next one is the tablet, and the final one is the mobile device. Like we did here. Well, there are no rules in particular. You can do your own experiment on the design system and see what fits better and looks good. So, for heading 1, or display font, we choose three different font sizes depending on the device. But for, heading 2 we choose 32 pixels for desktop, but 24 pixels for both tablet and mobile. Because as we tested our design, it looks good and even fits well in both of the screen sizes. And, we did the same for heading 3 too. Finally, for paragraphs for all devices, 16 pixels fits best and even looks good too. Quick tip, always try to test your design on an actual device, like on a phone or tablet. Figma has this mirror app, where you can actually open your design prototype on a phone or tablet, and you can interact with it. See, on the devices what looks good, and only then make your decision. By the way, Adobe XD also has its own app to test prototypes. If you want to see any design tutorial on Adobe XD, let us know in the comments section. Now, it's design time. But, we have to do a bit of setup for that. Our goal here is to make each of the frames fully responsive. We already discussed in a previous video, about responsive design, and for that, how important the column grid system is. You can check that video in the description. So, here we already set the desktop version's grid system. Now we are going to set the column grid for tablet and mobile device frames. For that, we are going to follow the rules from this site. It's material.io by Google. You can follow Apple's guidelines too. But, here I am going to use Google's guideline. 
So, as per material.io, in my tablet frame, I will put 8 columns with 24 pixels gutter. And, for mobile devices, I will put 4 columns with 16 pixels gutter. Ok, fonts and grid, all set. Now, let's design it. Design is done. Let's put constraints on our designs. So, we have already discussed the constraints in our responsive design video. I am not going to discuss it in detail, but let me just walk you through it very briefly. Basically, if I want this one to stick to the right side, I will put constraints to the right. So, if I expand the frame to the right, it will respond accordingly. Same as I will stick it to the left side. And, it will also respond likewise. But the paragraph's lines are always fixed here. If you want to change it, as it gets more space to fill in, you can do it by selecting left and right. You can set a paragraph like this. But you can also set it to the center like this. So, no matter the size of the screen, it will always be in the center. You can do this for headings mostly. And, not just text, any shapes or objects can be constrained too. And, if you set this to the bottom, it will stick to the bottom. Mainly, footers can be set like this. By following this rule, let's put constraints on our design's elements. And, as you can see, all three frames are fully responsive.
Now, let's make it adaptive. For that, we are going to use this plugin called, Breakpoint. After installing it, open the plugin. Now, click on the new adaptive layout. Now, set the breakpoints. We have three breakpoints here. First, is 414 pixels width, and 768 pixels, then 1439 pixels, and max 1600 pixels. You can fix the minimum and maximum height also, if needed. Or, you can set it manually. Then, you need to define frames, for particular screen breakpoints. So for, 414 to 768 pixels width, I will set the mobile device frame. For this range, I will set the tablet device frame. And finally for 1439 or higher pixels width. I will set the desktop view. And, that's it. Now, if you reshape the width of the frame, it will automatically adapt the layout setup as per breakpoints. This very handy plugin makes design explanation to clients, or even to developers very easy. So, there you go. I hope you like this video. If so, please share it. If you want to ask us anything, you can use the comment section. The demo link of this beautiful WordPress theme is in the description. Please, check that out. And, I will see you in the next video.